Earlier this month at Chicago's Navy Pier, local African-American artists, crafters, and entrepreneurs are showing their talents honoring black history. We recently caught up with one of those artists whose work is very moving and very close to home. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemigno has her story. When I'm painting, I feel accomplished. It's like I'm creating something. Like I'm making something in the world that wasn't there before. Martha A. Wade can't remember a time when art wasn't a part of her life, even when she was a little girl watching TV. I would pause commercials, I would pause um, cartoons, I mean, and then trace them on the screen. But as she grew up, she set aside pencils and picked up paintbrushes. It was something she loved to do with her dad, the accomplished painter, muralist, and educator, Eugene Ida Wade. I grew up watching my father paint, and so I always kind of longed for my own canvas. We had a really close relationship in terms of being artists and comrades and um, just talking about life and art. Ida Wade passed away just shy of two years ago at age 82. It's a special bond between a father and a daughter. It's scary when you lose your father. As a woman, it's like that scary feeling of, okay, I don't have my dad, now I'm grown, grown. I have to really take care of myself. Today, Martha's on a mission to keep her dad's legacy alive. He lives on in much of her work, including a new collection for Black History Month here at the Starbucks Roastery on North Michigan Avenue. I wanted to use something uh, that dad and I had created together. I took the boy and I digitized it. I drew over the whole entire thing and I added other elements that my dad would have in his work. We took the background and made a mug. The boy ended up on the tote bag. There's a journal with a couple coloring pages in it, a jean jacket, which is pretty cool. But wait, who is that adorable little boy? I painted my son. Uh, so his likeness. You can see Martha's son Chris, now 22, and her daughter Jaden, now 19, in several of her works, including this massive four panel mural called Spirit Guides. It's like strength, peace, wisdom, and courage. As she paints her family history, Martha also chronicles black history as a whole. Documenting what's going on, feelings right now, but also as a woman of color and as a black woman, um, and I'm mixed, so I'm black and white. I like to paint people of color in a positive light to combat the negative stereotypes that we often see. And that's been my mission. Most of all, Martha says, she wants her art to bring out the good she sees in the world. She sees a lot of good. If you wake up every day and you see certain things on your walls, that can get you in a positive mindset of, that's what I want to be, that's what I am. I think art can help us to see where we can go. And what does Martha think her dad would say about where she and her art have gone? I know he was proud of me. You're gonna make me cry. He would just say, keep going, keep doing what I'm doing. And I think he would be happy that I am carrying on his legacy. Martha says her dad took meticulous notes on all of his work, and she's currently archiving his collection to keep it for all time. Suzanne Lemigno, CBS 2 News. If you want to see more of Martha A. Wade's art, you can check out her Instagram. That's at Wade Create. Her website is www.wadecreate.com, and you can visit Navy Pier's Black live artist studio on weekdays and the black makers market that's on Saturdays and Sundays through February. Uh, certainly a lot of talent in that what, family. What a talent and what a great story that is. Yes. Mm, I love it. Love her work.